So you guys are having a lot of trouble playing as a mage. Well, today I have for you guys the solution. Playing as a mage can become boring at times. Today I have three amazing top three builds that you guys need to use. It's going to make Elden Ring a lot of fun. It's going to make Elden Ring very engaging. Also, it's going to help you take out foes from far and near and overall is just going to destroy bosses and destroy foes during the game. If you like how that sound, a like is much appreciated. So I'm also leaving timestamps in the video so you guys go check out each of the builds and let's begin. So the first one, we are going to be taking advantage of the Lusan Glintstone staff, fully leveled up. As you guys see this one, physical damage 58 plus, but the sorcery scale is up to 413. And trust me guys, attribute scaling S tier cannot get better than that. Attributes require 52 for intelligence and 10 for strength. And the next thing we're going to be using is the magic brass shield. And we're also going to be using in it the carry on retaliation actual work. Cause this one is pretty much what it do says it does. It's just re pretty much retaliates against any type of sorcery. And we are going to be using the Carolos Glintstone crown, which is going to raise our intelligence by three points. And then as you guys see the different type of armor that I'm using, it's all up to you because the only thing that is helping us here is the crown itself. And next, we are going to be using the Magic Scorpion Charm. This is going to give us a 12 additional percent damage on our magic. And that is what this build is all about. It's just pure magic, no source, nothing like that. It's, we have a little bit of defense with the shield itself, but mostly it's just offense with pretty much just the spells. That is why we need Shard of Alexander, that which is going to greatly boost our attack power of skills in... Of course, the Godfrey icon, which is going to enhance charge spells and skills. And then we are also going to be using the carry on filigree chest, which is going to lower our FP consume because we are going to be using a lot of our spells. So a lot of our FP is going to be used a lot. And then on top of this, I'm going to be using in my flask of wondrous physics, I'm going to be using two of them. Magic Shrouding Crack Tier, which is going to boost my magic power to another level. And also the Cerulean Hidden Tier, which is going to eliminate all FP consumption for about 10 to 15 seconds, which is going to allow me to use the following spells. Okay, the next spells I'm going to be using is the Carry On Phalanx. This one is going to give me a little bit of defense. As you guys see that, I have a bunch of swords around me and at the same time, it's going to give me some type of offense. And then next, I'm going to be using the Glintstone Stars. Let me put this into action. Why am I using Glintstone Star? Because it's going to give me that range that I need. So if I want to pretty much just kill anyone from far, far away, all I have to do is just spam this button. And look at this. All my swords came back. So to use the Meteor of that Stell, what you guys could do the following is, as I show you, what you have in the flask, use the flask. And as soon as you have that, you are going to pretty much just spam this one and just hold it. And you guys will see that you can just, and your FP doesn't go down because you are going to have about 15 seconds. And look at this, it just rains meteors. And then all of a sudden you lose your flask, but you still are going to do so much damage with this itself. And the last spell that we're going to use is the Terra Magica, which is going to give us about an additional 10% damage, which is we can take down all these three foes very easy and very fast because we are just standing here and that's all you have to do. And it's pretty much going to increase the power on your spell and in combination with all the different type of talismans and also the crown itself and then on top of the flask this is an awesome build that you guys can use especially if you're looking for an intelligent build this one you need to try because it's going to give you that chance to fight from far away 
Okay, guys, so this is going to be a level 200 build vigor. It's going to be a 50. Mine is going to be a 61 because we're going to need a lot of that. Endurance at 15, strength at 22, dexterity at 50 to help us just pretty much do those uh, castings a lot faster than it would be if we had that lower. And then intelligence, of course, at 80, which pretty much is at 77, but since I have the crown, it's at 80 and faith and arcane are five and six and the next build is going to be none other than the mage the destroyer and i'm gonna show you guys why so we are going to be focusing on two weapons one is going to be the royal great sword this one does a strength and intelligence damage as you guys see the attributes are required but the awesome thing about this weapon itself, it has the Wolf Assault. Yes, what it does is the following. Uh, so you guys do that little jump, it, it pretty much just slams on anyone, just destroying. Not only does it do a physical, on top of that, magic damage. And as you guys see that, it has magic at 328 plus. There is no other great sword better than this one with the application of physical and magic damage on any foe. The next weapon is going to be the Luzon Linstone Staff. It does a sorcery scaling at 413. And the reason we're going to be using this one is because it's going to greatly improve our sorcery, and which I will be showing you guys in a bit. And we are going to be using the Carol's Glinstone Crown. This one is going to give us a, three more points into an intelligence, which is going to push us to 80. And we are using the Albert's robe and the Land of Reeds gauntlets and the Noble's trouser. Those are your own choices. Now, the following talismans are going to be the Magic Scorpion Charm. It's going to give us 12 additional percent damage on our, any magic that we are using. And that includes our, yes. Royal Greatsword is going to even do even more damage on top of the 328 that you guys see there. And we are also going to be using the Shard of Alexander, which is going to greatly boost the attack power skill. And we are also going to be using the Green Turtle Talisman because we need to raise our stamina recovery speed because we are going to be using this heavy Greatsword. And then next, we are going to be using the Radagon icon, which is going to shorten our spell casting, in which I will be showing you guys in a bit. And then what is inside of my flask are the following. One is the Magic Shrouding Crack Tear, temporarily boosts magic attacks. And next is going to be our Surreal Hidden Tear, which eliminates all FP consumption. And as you guys see that, we are definitely going to need this because of a couple of spells that we are going to be using. Let me show you the spells. And the spells that we are going to be using, the first one is going to be the Terra Magica. The second one is going to be the Comet Azure. And then Loretta's Mastery. All those three are going to use some FP, especially, especially the Loretta's Mastery. And of course, the Comet Azure, which is going to help us destroy anyone with one complete shot. So this build itself is great for any, pretty much NG plus, and even taking on any, any boss, if you guys are able to use this really good. Now, let me show you guys how to use this build. So the way I would use this is the following. One, since this is going to be a strength and intelligence build, as you guys see, my character status, Vigor 45, Mind 41, Endurance 25, Strength 42, Dexterity 40, Intelligence 80, Faith 5, and Arcane 6. So the way we're going to be using this is Intelligence and Strength. So if we have on our left hand, we are going to be using the Terra Magica, which is going to increase our power by 10. And then on top of this, if we are going to be using the Loretta, if we are able to use the Loretta, is going to increase that damage that we are able to use with these three arrows. And then on top of this, we have, yes, the Comet Azure. And this one here will practically just shoot until your FP is gone. Now, if our FP is fully leveled up, as you guys see there, 
we are going to be using our crack tier, which is going to help us pretty much with that consumption of the FP and is going to give us pretty much unlimited, unlimited, Look, look at that comment of sort until 10, 15 seconds. And after that, it's going to start pretty much eating up our FP. But after that, I mean, any boss is going to be down with all that power. And now, if anyone gets close to you, don't worry. We got the great sword because this royal great sword with the magic attack, as you guys saw earlier, does that jump stand lands and also does that magic damage so you guys are able to see that let me show you guys again look at that and then that's that explosion that anyone around pretty much is will be out okay guys and the last build that i have for you guys from this top three best intelligent build is going to be this one none other than the mage the samurai this guy is incredible we are going to be using the moon veil because it deals physical and magic damage. And as you guys can see there, intelligence is a B and attributes are required are very low. So you guys can get this build really early in the game. And trust me, guys, trust me, this is a lot of fun to play with. On top of this, it also causes blood loss buildup of 50. So that is going to be something that you're going to be able to take advantage if you want. But in this case, I am not to, but I'm also going to be using the Lusa the Glintstone Staff, uh, fully leveled up, as you guys know, Sorcery Scaling, 413, can get better than this because it's an S tier uh, Glintstone Staff. And then I'm going to be using the Carol's Glintstone Crown, and then I'm just going to go with the Samurai Style right here with my other... Um, armor set and you guys could choose any of those three whatever you guys want to do but it is a priority that you guys choose the glintstone crown to give you a three points up on your intelligence and then you are going to be using the magic scorpion charm 12 percent more damage the charge of alexander give you about 15 percent more and of course the graven mass tal talisman that is going to increase eight percent of your magic damage and we also going to use the filigree crest because we need to lower our fp consumed by our skills that we are going to be able to do it with the moon veil and also the spells that i have in my inventory and then we are going to be using the flask of wondrous one will be the magic shrouding crack tier temporarily boost my magic attacks and the cerulean hidden tier eliminates all of my fp consumption and then flasks i'm using i'm using nine of the cerulean and also seven of the crimson tiers so now let me show you guys how to use this now with this build, I'm going to be using it at level 200, Vigor 45, Mind 51, Endurance 20, Strength 12, Dexterity and Intelligence is going to be 68 and 80, Faith 5, Arcane 6. Now, the reason why I'm going with Intelligence, because it's an intelligent build, but I'm also using Dexterity at 68 because um, one of the things is that I want to make sure that all my magic spells um, I'm able to you do those really fast and you guys will see here in the video how fast I'm able to use it at um, level 68, not level 68, but at 68 on my dexterity and of course Vigor and Mind are the next two up. So now let me show you guys really quick how to use this and I'm using the following spells. One is going to be the Loretta's Grace Bow. The next one is going to be the Great Blade of Phalanx. And then the last one is going to be the S'more Ice Storm. And now, let me show you guys really quick. So the first one is going to be the Loretta's. So since this is a mage samurai combination, so we're going to have to make sure that we're going to have to make sure that we use this uh, first one is going to be the Loretta's. As you guys see that, the longer you hold it, the more damage it's going to do. And the next one is going to be the Grey Ball of Planks. These three big swords are all, always going to follow you. So wherever you go is going to give you offense and defense at the same time. And then the last one is going to be the Samore Ice Storm. Like always, if you hold your button, the longer you are going to be doing damage with that storm. So I have the Loretta Grey Sword and I also have the Planks. Planks. And so let me show you guys really quick. Let's see. 
look at that okay, i got those and then look how far the range on the loretta's i just that's what i wanted to show you guys look just take a look at how far you could be and just being killing all the different foes look look how far you have to be look at this this is so easy with this build is that you don't even have to be close to the foes to take care of them to look at that i'm taking out one at a time one at a time with no problem so let's get closer and show you guys what the rest of the spells should do so now let's drink our flask just to make sure we have enough and then we have this one and then we are going to be using this look at this look at this look at all that damage guys is that it's just crazy now if they tend to, if they want to get close that we use our moon veil and look at that very easy very easy build so you guys see that the moon veil just hits through all those shields we're not a problem very very powerful katana if you guys don't have this katana the link is in the description of all these items that you guys need to be able to put this together and look at that with my dexterity just moves really fast i'm able to just cruise by and pretty much just take down this foes let's take care of all of these and show you guys how effective this build is look at this boom 1315 let's take care of this guy right here okay easy easy now if you want to take all those guys at once yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna do a little cheat cheat right here. Look at this, boom! They decided to get close. Well, they're going down. And then show you guys really quick how I'm able to take those two giants. Very easy. This 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 spell is so powerful. The some more ice storm. Just look at the damage because what it does, it also inflicts you know frostbite, frost damage. And let's do it one more time because these foes are coming my way. There we go. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. It's just look how the damage it is. And look at that. It just keeps doing damage over time, damage over time. And let's just do it one more time. Pretty much is going to take everyone out that comes really close by. Boom. There you go. So you guys get the point of the build itself. All these three builds, if you guys are able to use it. It's pretty much going to make Elden Ring a lot easier once you go out and use them. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below what other builds are you guys wanting to see in the channel. Strength, Faith, um, Dexterity, or if you guys want to do more of a Samurai. Let me know in the comment section, guys, and I will put them together for you guys. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Also, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe subscription button. And also, don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.